It is uh, Genoa against Roma live on ESPN this evening, our Serie A Sunday night offering for you. Kick off just a couple of minutes away. Um, if you look at the uh, league table, Thomas Berthold, then Juventus, Napoli, Lazio and Inter, they, they've got a bit of a gap between those four and the rest of the league. But you still think Roma can get themselves into, yeah, into that so. group? I think so, uh, because OK, uh, uh, Juventus is on top of the league with three points behind of, uh, of Napoli. And then uh, there are a few teams like uh, Lazio with one or two points behind. So if Roma takes one or two wins now in a row, they can make a big jump. Uh, Genoa can make a big jump themselves. We, we shouldn't forget them in, the, in this game this evening. If they get the three points, they'll actually go above Roma. Yeah, but they haven't. I don't think they've won at home since late August. So while, while they do have form in this, in this fixture, um, home hasn't been a happy place for them. Um, so uh, they'll be looking. Yeah, they'll, they'll be definitely looking to get off the mark and fancy their chances against uh, a very open side. Although well, home is a, is a happier place than it was last season at times. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, the, the, the players went through. Uh, well, they, they only survived on like the final day of the season. You know, before that, they had that uh, awful instant where the ultras um, stood on the tunnel and demanded that they. Uh, give their sh give the players give them their shirts because they weren't worthy of them. So, uh, so yeah, not, not great. Well, the players have completed that ridiculously long walk from one side of the pitch to the other. Maybe that's part of their uh, warm-up routine. And now the handshakes are beginning. Uh, so let's enjoy this. Jenner against Roma live on ESPN with our commentary team this evening. Uh, Stuart Robson, and we've heard from him already. Joe Spike. Thank you, Mark. Good evening everyone, there's week eight of this Serie A season comes to a close at the Morassi in the port city of Genoa in the northwest of Italy. An unpredictable Roma led by that man there, Genek Zeman, are in town. The Giadarossi star in sixth place tonight. They have 11 points on the board, the same number of points by which they trail leaders Juventus already. And there's the man in charge of Genoa, Luigi Di Canio. And the man in charge of the match, the referee Daniele Orsato from Vicenza, an experienced official now in his seventh campaign, officiating in Serie A. And Francesco Totti, as ever, with the armband here for Roma. They have won just six of their previous 46 league visits to Genoa down the years, and they have lost the last four in a row, but how will they cope? Marco Borriello is in the Genoa team tonight, that the headline for their team. And Zeman has brought back both Daniele De Rossi and Pablo Osvaldo, the two men who were dropped for Roma a couple of weeks ago for their home of success against Atalanta. There is De Rossi, who performed so well on international duty in the past week or so. Now back in action in Serie A, and so too that man there, Osvaldo. Well, Genoa will get this game underway. They have not lost now in the last four games in Serie A, but they've drawn the last three on the bounce Roma in search of their fourth win this season their third on their travels and Roma in all white and they will play from right to left in the first half here this evening so Roma coming in search of back to back wins for the first time this season but Genoa know if they prevail they would move above Roma and jump five places to fifth in the Serie A standings tonight. Watching with me, Stuart Robson. Stuart, you've seen Genoa several times so far this season. Where might they pose a challenge to Roma this evening? Well, I saw them play their best when they played in the first half against Juventus. They played two up front on that game. Moriello played alongside Immobile, who's not playing today. He's on the substitutes bench, so it's important that Hockera, the player playing behind Moriello, gets on the ball and causes problems. And watch out for Jankovic out on this right-hand side, the captain of Genoa. He's a good footballer, and he likes to cut in on his left foot. As the team's in full for you, as Stuart mentioned, no Immobile, so Hockera playing just behind Moriello. As for Rome, with those two changes, with De Rossi and Osvaldo coming in, the men to miss out, the injured Mattia Destro and the American Michael Bradley. Genoa start the game in 10th, nine points in their seven games so far. Here's Jankovic with a foray forward, dealt with by Leandro Castan. Now Balzaretti battling away. 
And Genoa have won the game's first corner. Slow start from Balzaretti. Needs to meet that ball before it had the high bounce, then didn't deal with it particularly well. The fullback who likes to get forward. Gronquist will be a real threat in the air for Genoa. It'll be Horkera to take it. Low trajectory. And by that near post, a half chance there for Bosco Jankovic. Wasn't particularly well marked. It wasn't well marked at all. Can't allow the ball to come into that near post area. Always have a defender in that zone to get to the ball first. A different role for De Rossi and uh, Zeman. Not a good pass for him either. Last season we saw him play in between the two centre halves at times. He was the key player for them. Not now. He's given away poorly by Bovo. They have a frantic start here at the Morassi. Totti to Fabri, this early pass, which just dissected that Genoa back line, but a wee bit heavy for the Mella. And Genoa building once again. Here's Horkera. Now Moretti. Horkera once more. Bordiello's there. And then Jankovic came in, and neither player could get that telling touch. But more promising signs from Genoa. Great delivery from that left hand side. Horkera. Oh, slide tackling the ball to get it into the box. And Rossi couldn't quite get there and get the block in. Oriello not far away. Actually, Balzaretti did well at the far post just to let the ball run across his body. The start to the game we've had from Genoa. And it's got the crowd going. You can see they had a great tenacious style about their play in these opening minutes here. Taking the fight to Roma. Oriello once again. Might break his way once more. Back in the way came Castan. It's. The most convincing defensive play here by Roma. And that's the way of things under Zeman. They attack with some gusto, but they do leave gaps, which other teams can take advantage of at the back. Here's Forenzi. Now the Mella. Pidis. Deep towards Osvaldo, and it's turned behind by Bobo. And now Roma have their first corner. It's been a lively beginning. No options really for Bolo at the far post. Seen him play at centre half most of the matches this season. Playing at right back today. Simple, easy, the normal right back. On the subs bench. Here's Totti. It's a well worked corner. Florenti square. And stretching there was Andreas Grankvis, the big sweep to clear. Here's Marquinhos, who is just 18 years of age. One of the many new players brought in by Roma in the summer. Battling there was Lamella, but to no avail. Now Emiliano Moretti. Up goes De Rossi. Now Castan. I've already seen the front three. Osvaldo's a player that can hold up the ball and finish as well, Totti the playmaker, we've already heard of Lamella, the runner with the ball, tipping these out on that right-hand side, cutting back onto his left foot and getting shots and crosses in, there he is the right-sided player, Lamella. It's five years since Roma last won away against Genoa, back in November of 2007 it was Christian Panucci who scored the only goal, Is Balzaretti, the Italian international. A touch off Jankovic, favoured Gronkvist. Bovo. And Felipe Seymour. Jankovic. Turned on by Bovo, but it was Borriedo wanting the ball to feet. Yeah, he wanted the first ball played from Jankovic down the side. Borriedo had made the run, then he came back. Was played over the top just as he was retreating. Here goes Luca Antonelli, who's pushed up from left back tonight. Borriello goes near post. His flick, his chance, terrific goal! Genoa lead inside the opening six minutes.
It's a thumping hit from Yuri Kuchka. Genova delights and Roy Matrail, and what a goal! What a goal it was, and they've been attacking down that left hand side really well. There's a flick from Boriello at the near post. I'm not sure he's trying to pick out Kuchka. But it's a good little flick inside, and Kuchka on his right foot. All he tried to do was keep the ball down, bend it with the inside of his right foot. Here's the flick from Boriello. Just get it, keep it in play. And what a strike! No chance for Stecklenburg. Perfect technique. Hits it with the inside of his right boot, starts it outside the post. Genoa, brilliant start from them. A second this season for the Slovakian international and a goal to save it. Well, this is the tempo that they started off against Juventus. They really caused Juventus back three problems by getting the ball forward early, getting midfield runners going beyond. On that occasion, they had two front players who kept them running in behind. Borrelli was holding the ball up, but it was the tempo in which they played. And it's called Roma problems here. Juventus four bats to win that game by three goals to one. That was Genoa's only home defeat so far this season. And Genoa off to a flyer. And handball then, it was spotted by referee Ostato, Lameda penalised. Grogvist with the free kick. Up towards Antonelli. Oh, the test now of Roma's resolve. Can they come from behind? This is the goal which divides the teams. Yes, it was started by that man, Antonelli. Down the left-hand side, as you quite rightly said, he's played a lot of games at left-back this season. He's a forward-thinking player, he's got plenty of pace. Drives forward and gets left foot, crosses in. And that's how the move started. Really well played from Kuchka. So he had to control that shot. No pressure on him, but he's hit those over the bar. This will be Ivan Pidius with the throw. Lamella. Now Marquinhos. Leandro Castan. We're only yet to find a foothold in the match. And I want some time here just in possession. To try and calm their nerves. Here's Taxidis, the Greek. Lemela. Gronkvist away. Volcano with the touch. In goes Kuchka, the goal scorer. And on the cover here, here's Marquinhos. Back with Martin Stecklenberg, who had no chance whatsoever with Kuchka's wonder strike. You see Totti starting out on the left-hand side. He will go slightly in field to try and play. Pulls off at Osvaldo and switch play out to Lamella. He's not going to run past people with pace these days. Not sure he ever did. He still is a dangerous player when he gets the ball and he hits a lot of first-time passes. Marco Borriello caught one in the eye there in that battle with the Andre Castan. It's a man who was allowed to leave Roma in the summer. Scored 11 goals in 41 Serie A games for the club. Now on the books of that man there, Di Canio's Genoa. Number Luigi Di Canio, a former coach of Queen's Park Rangers. Now in his first full season back in charge of Genoa. Stekelenberg opting for the pass here for Balzaretti. It's good pressure from Genoa. Balzaretti show good composure. The pass was poor towards Osvaldo, who's barely had a kick so far. For Kerda, for Kuchka. His third campaign as a Genoa player. Bobo advancing from right back, but to no avail. Another former Roma man, he began his career 